those placing for your catalogs in the senior two-year-old class. Entry 1881 was second. Brown Heaven Carter, Fall BET, exhibited by Brown Heaven and Milk Source of Rocher, Quebec. 1884 was fifth. 1892 was sixth. 1893 was tenth. Twinkle Hill Star Nova 1351 and your production award winner by Jeannie and Laurie Winkleman of Watertown, Wisconsin. 1895 placed eighth. 1896 third. Winning entry, best utter and bread and own. 1897 Pitt Crew Rich Peaches Twinned from Pitt Crew Genetics of Cambridge, Minnesota. 1900 placed ninth, 1901 placed fourth, 1910 was seventh, and your winning junior entry, 1880. Placings are completed in the junior three-year-old cow class. At this time, we'd like to congratulate the production award winner. She is entry 1915. Brown Heaven Biver French Kiss, exhibited by Ferme Brown Heaven of Verchard, Quebec. French Kiss had at two years, three months, 305 days, 24,291 pounds of milk, 1197 of fat, and 895 pounds of protein. Our second place junior in the class, if you'd please take a step forward, is entry 1918. She is Summer Wind Jane Doe, exhibited by Tyler Schrepfer of Burnhamwood, Wisconsin. Third place in the class goes to entry 1920, Cutting Edge D Twitter ETV, exhibited by Ken Main and Kenny Joe Mannion of Copeg, New York. Second place in the class and the winning junior entry is entry 1919. She is Johan Carter Dartmouth, exhibited by Brayton Ryland and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. And the winning entry and the bread and, excuse me, the best utter in the class goes to entry 1922. WF Kyan Nicole E.T., exhibited by Kirby Sparrow of Owenton, Kentucky. Congratulations, exhibitors. And now for his comments on this class, Judge Harbaugh. Thank you, Lisa. Maybe not the power in, at the top of this class that we've had in some of the other classes, but for us, the two most balanced cows with the best stutters lead the class. First cow goes over the cow in second today. When you get right in behind these two cows, she shows us more width, more extension right at the top of the rear udder. For me, she's just a little more correct out through the set to the hock today than the cow in second. Second cow over the cow in third, it's on udder. She's much snugger, especially on the right side of the fore udder today. It blends in longer and more smoothly to the body wall than the beautiful frame cow we have coming along in third. Third cow, you love her style, her balance, her smoothness and blending of parts. A beautiful dairy cow in her own right. But for us today, she just needs to be a little fuller in that right front quarter, just a little snugger on the right side of the fore udder to get ahead of the two cows that lead the class. But this third cow uses her, white, her height, her width, her fullness at the top of the rear udder and definition of seam to place over another really long frame cow coming along in fourth. Really admire the fourth cow length of frame, a cow that's got a lot of height at her chine, a cow that's very open in her rib structure, and it is that length of frame and openness to her rib structure that take her over another really good uttered cow coming along here in fifth. Fifth over sixth, it's that advantage she has today in being just a little fuller right at the top of the rear udder, a little more quality right through the back of her udder today than this cow coming along in sixth. And then sixth over seventh, just prefer the teeth, size, shape, and placement. Congratulations.